Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your iPhone 14 Pro, iPhone 14 Pro Max or iPhone 14 and Plus. Let's get started. All right, so I've got all three iPhones here and we're gonna go through how to set them up. There are a few ways you can set them up. First, if you have an existing iPhone, you can use that iPhone to set these ones up and then you can set these up manually as well or from your iCloud backup, all that. So we're gonna go through those. We're gonna start with the simplest way by setting it up manually. So if you do wanna use your phone, I'll give you stamps on the screen of the times you can skip to. That way you can skip to exactly the portion and the way you want to set this up. So we're going to start this off here by creating a brand new iPhone. We're going to use the iPhone 14 Pro Max for this, but it's exactly the same no matter what iPhone you're using. We're going to start here. Just make sure your iPhone is on and then you're going to just swipe up from this page. First thing it asks you is your language. So you're going to choose that and then you want to choose your country. So for me, it's in Canada. Now from here, we're just going to stick to setting it up manually. So we're going to tap on that again. This timestamp on screen, you can skip to how you want to install it. Now you can set up your internet connections. So you're just gonna go through whichever one is yours, tap on it, enter in the passcode, then tap join. Okay, and right there you see it says, it may take a few minutes to activate your phone. Just give it some time to do this. Don't turn it off or anything like that while it's trying to complete. And that took about 20 seconds. Now on this page, it's just letting you know the data and privacy information. So just letting you know when you see this icon, you can read through this. We'll tap continue or learn more if you wanna learn more. Now Face ID is a cool feature that I would recommend setting up. We're gonna set it up right here by tapping continue. And then all you're going to do is just bring that close to your face like this. And you're gonna kinda of turn it so that it can see your face. So we'll tap get started. It's got my face, I'm gonna to have to come down for that. And you're just gonna turn your head like this. Now, I got a hat on, I'm trying to film this at the same time. You can also set this up to work with a mask if you'd like. I'm not going to do that right now, it's up to you. You can always change this in settings later on. There you go, you've got the check mark, it's now set up. We'll tap continue. And then it's strongly recommended that you create a passcode. Now you have six digits here that you can create. If you tap on passcode option, you can choose to have a custom alphanumeric code. So that's with uh, complete keyboard access of numbers, letters, whatever you want. A custom numeric code, which is this six digit or a four digit numeric code. So if we wanted only four digits, we could do that. Choose something stronger than that, it's prompting me to choose something stronger, but I'm just gonna do this for now. And then you have these options here as well. Now, this is the section where you can choose how you wanna set up your phone. Now, if you wanna set it up from an existing iPhone, skip to the timestamp on screen and I'll show you how to set it up directly from your iPhone. For now, we're gonna tap don't transfer apps and data. And this will set up your iPhone completely fresh as a brand new iPhone. Now on this page, we're going to enter in our existing Apple ID. Now, if you're brand new to iPhones and you don't have one, tap this link here and go through creating a free Apple ID and then return to this page here where you will then enter that in. So we'll just quickly enter it in. We'll tap next. It's gonna prompt you to enter in your password. We'll do that too. Then tap next once again. Now, if you have an existing iPhone and you've already set this up, you're going to be prompted to enter in a code. So you'll need to go to your existing iPhone. I'm blocking it out obviously, but it'll be a map and it'll tell you to allow it if you want. So you gotta tap allow. Then it'll pop up with the code you need to enter in and you're just gonna enter that in here. Now this is the terms of service. You can choose to have it sent to you if you'd like to keep a copy or read it. Otherwise, scroll through it, read it, tap agree when you're done. And now it's going to set up your Apple ID with this iPhone. Again, it's gonna take maybe a few minutes or a few seconds. And that again took about 30 seconds. And now it's saying make this your new iPhone. So you have custom options that you can choose from here or tap continue. Now, if you tap on customize, it's going to go through each option here and you can tap continue. So it's saying keep your iPhone up to date, get the latest versions, location services. You can enable them or disable them if you'd like. It's fine to enable them for now for us, so I did that. 
set up cellular, so transfer from a nearby phone, use a QR code. So depending on where you are in the world, you'll have to enter or insert a SIM card or not. I'll show you how to insert the SIM card if you have one, it's pretty simple. You don't have to do that now, you can do that at any time with these phones, but uh, there is a QR code, eSIM, all that. We're gonna just skip this for now because it's more or less about your carrier. We'll just set it up later in settings and we're gonna skip this eSIM section here because we're not using that. You can set up Apple Pay if you would like right now. Again, you can set this up later in your settings. We're not gonna set this up because it does have a lot of private information. This is where you can set up a credit card and have it on your phone so you can pay with your phone. Now Siri is a great feature. It's Apple's personal assistant with the phone asking questions, directions, and things like that. So it's your voice assistant. Now if you'd like to set this up, you tap continue. And now it's going to ask us to say, hey Siri. Hey Siri, send a message. Hey Siri, how's the weather today? Hey Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, play some music. Once it's done, you'll be taken here. Tap continue. And now you can also use Siri by pressing and holding on that side button. It's just letting us know that. And we'll tap continue. You can help to improve dictation by sharing your audio recordings. I don't do this. You can also set up screen time, which is a way that you can track and monitor how much screen time you're using, set different parameters so that it will tell you that you're going to be locked out at this time and you're using your phone too much, all that kind of stuff. You can set up all that. I'm not gonna go through that here. There's a video link right there. You can check that out or in the description if you wanna learn more about screen time. So we'll set that up later in our settings iPhone analytics, it's asking if you wanna share these with Apple. Again, I don't like to share anything. They can do their own stuff. I don't want my personal information to ever be moved somewhere else. Even though they're telling you it's going to be protected, I choose not to. This section is your appearance. So you have light and dark mode, and you can choose which you would prefer. I'm gonna to stick to light for now and tap continue. And then we have display zoom. So if you like a more zoomed in display, you would choose zoomed and you can see the examples of how each section would look. So your notifications are a little bit bigger, your message bubbles are a little bit bigger. Otherwise you just leave it on standard and this is how it looks. Emergency SOS is basically going to set up this crash detection and you can read about it right here. We've had the press and hold for emergency SOS when you press the two buttons. That way if you're in a situation where you need to call the police or anything, uh, you can press those two buttons, it'll open up emergency and you can swipe to have it call emergency services. The new feature is the crash detection and then uh, the emergency SOS via satellite. So read through this and then tap continue. And that's it, you're gonna swipe up and it's gonna take us to our new iPhone. And that's it, so now your iPhone is all set up. We are going to get some prompts here. It's going to say set up your cellular network. You can tap set up, otherwise you can set it up later. We're gonna say not now. The phone should work as normal. I'm gonna say not now again. Now for those of you who have a pre-existing iPhone and you wanna set up your new iPhone from this iPhone, so it just copies everything over, the simplest way to do that is first, from your new iPhone that you're setting up, just swipe up tap English or whatever language you're choosing. As soon as you get to this stage here, if you bring your iPhone close by, it'll prompt you to unlock to continue. You can set up a new phone. This is how it looks on my phone here. If you don't see this on your lock screen, just unlock the iPhone. So just enter in your passcode and it'll pop up and you should see something like this appear on your home screen where it tells you how to set up your iPhone from the other iPhone. So we're gonna follow those steps now. So at this point, it's waiting for the other iPhone. You're just gonna take your existing iPhone that you wanna copy over and you're just gonna hover this over. You're basically hovering your camera over that little blue icon. So you see what it's doing here between the two phones. Now you can create a new child account if this was a phone for a child or you can have it set up based on your specific Apple ID. So we'll just tap set up for me and it'll just go through that. You can see it was pretty quick here because this is a fresh iPhone as well. If you have a lot of things on your iPhone, it might take a long time for you to get to the next steps. It's telling me to keep this phone near my new iPhone, and it's prompting me on the new iPhone to enter in the passcode from this old iPhone. So just make sure you remember that. So we're gonna enter that in here, and now it's gonna set up this iPhone. It's giving us that prompt that it's gonna take a few minutes and it's gonna set it up based on the iPhone that we have right here. So all your photos, videos, everything should be transferred over. Keep in mind some applications, like if you have a Tesla or something like that, you may have to configure your key again. Stuff like that won't be able to transfer over because they're specific to those apps. 
So just keep that in mind when you are setting it up this way. Don't delete your other phone yet until you know everything works on this new phone. Now we've got Face ID here. Once again, I'm just going to pull this one aside here. And we're going to set up Face ID on our new iPhone. So we'll tap continue. And this is going to let us unlock our phone with our facial recognition here. And we're just going to hold our like this and kind of move it around our face. So we'll tap get started. And you're just going to turn your head like this. Now I got a hat on. I'm trying to film this at the same time. Okay, there we go. Now you're going to be prompted if you would like to set up your iPhone's facial recognition to work when you have a mask on. We're not going to do that here. You can set that up later in your settings. So we'll tap to set that up later. Face ID is done. We'll tap continue. Now we're going to be prompted to transfer data from this iPhone over to our new one. And its estimated time is 5 to 10 minutes. Again, the more you have on your phone, the longer that's going to take. So we're going to tap continue. And it's going to set up our Apple ID and transfer everything over. From this page, you can agree to the terms of service. And this right here is saying to make this your new phone. And you can tap continue or customize. You can go through each one of these. It's basically if you tap customize, it'll work your, its way through all those settings. We'll just tap continue for now. I went through customize on the manual setup. It's totally your choice if you want to do that. It'll just walk you through a few more options. Now, if it does prompt you to add a card, you can see a card popped up here. You can add this card to your wallet later or fill in that information. We're gonna add this to our wallet later. And you're gonna to continue to do that with all of your cards. At this point, you can choose to send your iPhone analytics to Apple. So tap share with Apple or don't send. I don't send that. This is just letting you know what emergency SOS is all about, the new crash detection, and a feature that's coming out in the fall. You can read that and tap continue. And now it's going to start transferring the data from this iPhone over to this one very quick because this was almost a brand new phone. Again, the more you have on your phone, the more time it's going to take to transfer over. Okay, the transfer is complete. This iPhone now is restarting itself. We can tap continue on this phone. And now this phone is going to also ask us a couple of questions here. So do you want to erase this phone? Now it is tempting to just say, yeah, so you can sell it, but I wouldn't. Keep this phone the way it is for now. So tap not now. Just make sure everything is okay on this phone here first. The apps work. Uh, you know if you have a Tesla, you have the key fob for that Tesla just in case. Otherwise, if you delete this phone and this Tesla app isn't set up with it, I mean, how are you going to get in the car? Just keep this phone available to you, I would say, for about a couple of weeks while you're getting this one all organized and set up, and then you're done. So at this point, you've set up your new iPhone based on your previous iPhone. You can swipe up to log in. You can use Face ID or enter in your passcode, and that's it. You've got your new iPhone set up. It's going to prompt you a few times for things that you didn't set up, like the location services, and you can just follow along. I'm just going to say not now. Your cell cellular network, if you want to set that up with eSIM or anything like that, you can do that here as well. Anyway, that's how you set up your iPhone manually or using a pre-existing iPhone. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments and I'll do my best to help you out. If this video was helpful for you, let me know as well by hitting that like button. It helps the channel and it lets me know that what I've provided for you was what you needed. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell notification box to be notified when I post new videos. There's a whole playlist of tips, tricks, and tutorial videos that'll help you get the most out of your new iPhone 14, 14 Pro or 14 Pro Max. And as always, I will see you in the next one.